G'day tubers. Uh, just addressing a couple of questions that I've had, uh, or rather one word comments, such as overkill. Um, I don't actually think it's overkill. But my plan, you know, has always sort of been um, me bus bars. I'm actually going to cut these off here and here and round this off so it sort of makes it all look nice. Um, I've actually gone through and um, loaded all those terminals up or tinned them or whatever you say. It wasn't that hard once I worked it out. Um, I'm used to working on 0.2 or a millimetre, not a big chunk of globs, so I've got that done and the time lapse is done on that side. Um, so this is how this is going to work. The bus bar, hey, some more good video footage for you. The bus bar is going to go like this. So this is going to go, well actually, let's look at it this way. That sits on there okay, I guess. So the bus bar is going to sit like, sit like that along the side. And then I'll have, up this end, I'll have a terminal that goes onto there. And then that will loop. Uh, and that's not staying there. I am not editing this footage. This is supposed to be a quick one. The one beside it. So what have we got? We've got negative there. So you've got positive on that side. So basically I'll just have a cable that loops around and then connects up to that. So negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, so on and so forth. Now, everyone's looking at these bus bars and going overkill. Well, it's not overkill because, uh, let me have a look what I've got here. We've got negative, hold that bus bar up, and we've got negative. So the plan is to have one on top of each other. So all of this power is going to be going through this, these bus bars. And again, I'll have another another um, another terminal here that either a bit of copper or whatever, joining the two up. Now, moving forward, and that is one of the dodgy packs. Moving forward, I can put a third one on. So, and if we have them negative uh, rather than positive, that would be a lot better. So then I can run three battery banks, one on top of the other. Um, does that make any sense? It does to me. So it just makes it a little bit expandable. I'm going to build it so I can put another entire pack underneath, which gives me 50% more capacity again without having to do too much. I can use the BMS from these. Uh, where's my camera? I can use the BMS that runs on this one to simply do that one. So that's why I am going a little bit overkill on that bus bar. And talking about BMS, look what we've got here. Look at this little shiny box. Now I've ripped everything else off of it. Look what we got. Now I've already opened it. It's a BMS. It got returned to sender. So I've got a funny feeling that's 115 bucks square in the toilet. Now I preached and prayed and bullshitted on about how I was never going to use this device. Um, hands are tied at the moment. I might, subject to change, try it, at least on in the short term. Um, and certainly not under any load. Um, I'll probably whack a huge fan on it. And if it dies, I will make a huge video about it and jump up and down like everyone does in YouTube land. I still, I really hope it does die. I really hope it dies within the first four minutes so I can be vindicated and then I'll ring them up and, well, can't ring them up because they just left in Mumbai, aren't they? But yeah, that come back in the mail. So back to the BMS thing from the bus bar. The bus bars are gonna go all the way down and one great big BMS is going to be able to do the whole lot. So I hope that sorts out the whole um, why am I overkilling on this bus bar. I did, out of interest, I did try and solder it. 
it didn't go so well. It actually did. It did. It soldered it enough for me to actually get that um, hole through, drilled. Um, I'm going to try and make a jig before I do any of the others. I'm, I'm going to get this one perfect because I'm not really happy with the alignment. And it probably is not going to show on video. Um, of course, the box is not in the, is in the way. It just doesn't sit. Uh, it looks pretty good on video, actually, right there. But trust me, it, it sits uh, about four millimeters out on one end, on one of the rails. So I want to get that right. Make a jig so I can make it all nice and even. And then if anybody else wants some, I can rip it together and you just pay for the materials. So that's where we're at, tubers. A few old. Um, I'm giving you a few updates lately. I'm sorry if I'm boring you to death. I'm trying to keep the content a little bit real. Uh, none of this bullshit clause stuff. It is what I'm doing and whatever else. So take it easy. Have a good one. Um, and I'll see you on the next one, I guess.